हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिसेस नेहा हेमंत पंडित फ्रॉम फर्ग्यूसन कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन दैट इज अल्कोहल्स फिनॉल्स एंड ईथर्स एंड दिस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन अल्कोहल्स फिनॉल्स एंड ईथर्स now if you see this particular three units which we are going to study under this particular chapter one is alcohol the functional group is oh another is phenol the functional group is oh and the third compound is ether where the functional group is a divalent oxygen now why we are going to study all these three together because in this the alcohol and ether are functional isomers of each other that means their molecular formula is same but their functional group is different and alcohols and phenols have same functional group that is oh and hence these three things we are going to study together so let us first start with alcohols now as you know alcohols are hydroxyl derivative of alkanes depending upon the number of hydroxyl group present they are classified so the classification similar to halogen derivatives we are talking about here is if the alcohol contains only one oh group we call it as a monohydric if it contains two oh group in their molecule we call it as dihydric if they contain three oh group in their molecule we call it as trihydric and three or more than three if they contain we call it as polyhydric so this is the first question which is asked in board exam ki what are alcohols and how are they classified so depending upon the number of hydroxyl group that you have to write and just mention it mono di tri and poly and then write their definition in one example each so next when we are talking about monohydric see the structure there is only one oh group the remaining part is alkyl group ch3 ch2 oh so one oh group then again here the two hydroxyl group now when we are talking about dihydric one thing is very clear that two oh group which are present in that chain of carbon should be present either on the adjacent carbon atom or different so dihydric alcohols or even polyhydric alcohols the oh will never present on one and the same carbon so this is dihydric then we come to trihydric propane the derivative of propane 3h are replaced by 3 oh then i have the last compound there is six carbon atoms six hydrogen are replaced by six oh group and the particular compound is having six hydroxyl group so more than three so we call it as a polyhydric so one oh group monohydric two oh group dihydric three oh group it is trihydric and more than three it is polyhydric so this is what we are talking about the classification of alcohols now we come to the next compound that is classification of phenols now the first thing you have to see about phenols is what we have is the oh group is the oh group here is attached to the carbon which is sp2 hybridized right here sp2 oh group is present to sp2 hybridized carbon atom and hence this is called as a phenol now phenol again are classified depending upon the number of oh group attached to the benzene nucleus as there is only one oh group to the benzene nucleus i call it as monohydric when there are two oh group present here i call it as dihydric if there are three oh group present i call it as a trihydric that is one second and third oh group present now the depending upon the position they are again classified but phenols similar to alcohols are classified depending upon the number of oh group present as monohydric as dihydric and as trihydric phenols now if you see these two uh, structures which are written over there on the board if you can see see the oh group is there and even the benzene nucleus is there but the oh group here is attached to the open chain carbon it is not attached directly to 
the benzene nucleus so naturally this particular compound i will not consider as a phenol but as it is attached to the open chain carbon sp3 i will consider this as the alcohol this is definitely not phenol now when i am come i am talking about this compound again see the oh group is attached to this carbon which is not a carbon of the benzene nucleus but it is a open chain carbon hence i will call this as alcohol not phenol so the difference between alcohol and phenol you should understand the oh group is directly attached to the benzene nucleus oh group is not attached to the benzene nucleus but the open chain carbon so these two structures what i am talking about this particular structure and this particular structure i am talking about they are alcohols and the remaining are phenols this is a basic difference between alcohol and phenols now we are going to consider in detail the monohydric alcohols the classification best of monohydric alcohols is not the number of alcohol mono means one so all these alcohols will have only one oh group then how do we classify them we classify them depending upon the nature of carbon atom which bears your functional group oh now this is the first classification where oh is attached to sp3 carbon now sp3 carbon means carbon whose all four valencies are satisfied by single covalent bond so definitely oh group here is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom that is a carbon atom of alkyl group and hence i say it is oh group only one monohydric atom this is attached to carbon which is in turn attached to one carbon hence this particular alcohol is called as primary alcohol then i come to the next compound if you see oh group is attached to that carbon which in turn attached to two carbon that means this become a secondary alcohol and hence the monohydric alcohol further classified depending upon the nature of carbon atom that is secondary when i come to the next compound if you see the oh group is attached to the carbon which in turn attached to three carbon atom that means it is tertiary so the monohydric alcohols depending upon the nature of carbon atom are classified as primary alcohol as secondary alcohol as tertiary alcohol depending upon the nature of carbon atom which actually bears your oh group so this is very very important that you must be able to distinguish the secondary primary and tertiary carbon atom with the oh group then we come to the next part of classification of monohydric alcohol itself that means the property is very simple mono means one and hydric means oh group so alcohol which contains only one oh group the next class is that here if you see the difference between previous alcohol and this alcohol the oh group is attached to the carbon atom which is sp3 only but in this particular case the carbon bearing oh group is sp3 in turn attached to sp2 now how do you make a difference between sp3 and sp2 as i told you sp3 carbon means all four valencies are satisfied by single bond and sp2 means the carbon should bear a double bond so naturally this type of alcohol where the carbon bearing functional group is attached in turn to sp2 carbon it is called as allylic alcohols so in case of allylic alcohols it is very important that the carbon bearing functional group is sp3 but in turn attached to sp2 that is double bonded carbon now if you see the nature of carbon atom which is bearing your functional group is again attached to only one carbon which is sp2 hybridized so this is primary now here carbon bearing your functional group is attached to sp2 but the carbon bearing functional group in turn attached to two carbon so it is allylic but secondary 
Now, when I come to this particular compound, see the nature of carbon, which is bearing your functional group, is in turn attached to sp2, so it is allylic. But in addition to allylic, carbon bearing functional group is attached to 1, 2, and 3 carbon, hence it is tertiary. So, allylic can be classified as primary allylic, secondary allylic, and tertiary allylic. So, this is what you have to remember for allylic. The position of the carbon bearing functional group is attached to double bonded carbon then and then only it is called as allylic alcohols. The next classification of alcohols which are again monohydric, I have only one OH group over here but it is attached to the carbon atom which is sp3, right here it is sp3 carbon, in turn attached to sp2. But if you see the difference between allylic and this, this is a sp2 of the benzene nucleus. So when carbon bearing functional group is sp3, in turn attached to sp2 of the benzene nucleus, I call it as a benzylic alcohol. So that's the basic difference between allylic and benzylic. See allylic, the carbon is sp2 hybridized here, but in this case it is open chain. And here carbon is sp2, it is in the ring. So in benzylic alcohol also the carbon bearing OH is sp3, in turn attached to sp2 of the benzene nucleus. So this is primary. If I see here a carbon bearing functional group in turn attached to sp2 of the benzene ring, so it is benzylic, but carbon bearing functional group is attached to two carbon, hence it is secondary. If I have one more group over here, I can call it as tertiary. So like allylic, it can also be classified as primary benzylic, secondary benzylic, one more group over here, I can call it as tertiary benzylic. So monohydric alcohol can be classified as sp3OH group, allylic alcohols, benzylic alcohols and all three are classified as primary, secondary and tertiary. Now the last part what we are going to study is it is called as vinylic alcohols. Now this is very important. If you see this group vinyl. Now this vinyl group is nothing but CH2CH. Now if you see the difference between allylic, benzylic and vinylic is. In case of vinylic, the OH group is attached to that carbon which itself is sp2 hybridized. That means the double bonded carbon contains OH group. And hence these compounds because double bonded carbon there is a pi electron due to resonance they are highly stable and hence vinylic alcohol are the stable alcohol but they are again monohydric itself. So monohydric alcohols are classified into four classes sp3 coh class allylic benzylic and vinylic that is the classification of monohydric alcohols here we complete the second question which is generally asked in board exam, what are monohydric alcohols and how are they classified? Now with this we move on to the how alcohols are named. That means we are talking about the nomenclature of alcohols. Now there are some common or trivial names of alcohols. So they are named with the group of alkyl. Now whatever is the alkyl group which is bearing that OH group, the name is obtained. Right, so if you see the first structure, the group of alkyl is having two carbons, so it is ethyl and it is bearing that functional group OH which is called as alcohol, so the name becomes ethyl alcohol. Now when I come to the next compound, if you see here, chain is of three carbon atoms, so there are three carbon atom alkyl, so it is propyl, but the position of the OH group is the second carbon atom and hence I call it as a isopropyl alcohol. That means ethyl alcohol is primary, isopropyl alcohol is secondary because the carbon bearing OH group is attached to two carbon. Then I come to next compound. If you see this particular compound, in all there are one, two, three and four carbon atoms. So it is a derivative of definitely butyl. But if you see the structure of butyl, then this is a carbon which is bearing your functional group is primary. And on the second carbon atom, there is one methyl group which is nothing but iso compound. So it is called as isobutyl alcohol. 
if you see the nature of isobutyl alcohol it is primary the nature of isopropyl alcohol it is secondary and the nature of ethyl alcohol it is primary so alkyl alcohol is the nomenclature used for representing a common name of alcohol then i come to the next compound if you see here the carbon bearing functional group is attached to three carbon hence it is tertiary and in all there are four carbon atoms so it becomes tertiary butyl alcohol then i come to the next compound if i count the number of carbon atom 1 2 3 and 4 so it is a derivative of four carbon atom that is butane so it becomes butyl but see the oh group is attached to the secondary carbon hence it becomes secondary butyl alcohol then if you see this particular compound if you see this particular compound this is not a monohydric alcohol because there are two oh group present one and two and they are attached to two carbons so it is a derivative of that alkene which contains two carbon but as oh group are present on the adjacent carbon atom the alcohols are called as glycol this glycol is attached to that particular functional group which is c2h4 c2h4 means ethylene and oh group on the adjacent so ethylene glycol so this particular compound is called as ethylene glycol which is a dihydric alcohol then there is one more system of uh, naming that is carbenol system derivative of methyl alcohol but this particular part actually with the new syllabus it is included so they are derivative of methyl alcohol one of the h of methyl alcohol is replaced again by methyl group methyl alcohol is called as carbenol one h is replaced by methyl so i call it as methyl carbenol here all three hydrogen atoms of methyl are replaced again three methyl groups so i call it as trimethyl carbenol so carbenol system the alcohols are considered as a derivative of methyl alcohol then we come to a very important part of alcohol and that is iupac system of alcohols now how do we get iupac system first we consider the given molecule as a longest chain of carbon atom and we consider that particular compound as a derivative of alkene now here you see if i want to name the alcohol as a derivative of alkene that e of alkene should be replaced by what i say is suffix suffix is the word which is used after the root word now alkene the e is replaced by here e is replaced by suffix all for functional group alcohol so when i say alcohol this all is a suffix which is used to name alcohol according to iupac system so that is what you have to always remember you are going to apply all the rules of alkene that means if i have a alcohol of one carbon i will consider that as a derivative of methane and then e will be replaced by word suffix all so the name will become methanol if i have alcohol with two carbon because two carbon alkene is ethane this e of ethane will be replaced by suffix all and the word will be ethanol so this is the way we get the iupac nomenclature now for example if you see the first compound there are two carbon atoms hence it is a derivative of ethane so i will replace e by word all so the name of this particular compound will become ethanol now here i have a compound of alkene of three carbon atom that means it is a derivative of propane because there are three carbon atom but because propane has got a position isomer i will number the carbon atom as 1 2 and 3 so the position of the oh has become 2 so e of propane is replaced by all but before that all i will mention the position of carbon which is bearing that oh group and hence if you see the name the root word has become propane 
E is replaced by all and before this alkane name and suffix all, I should mention the position of the carbon which is bearing my functional group OH. Because it is 2, I call it as propan to all. Okay. Now this particular compound if you see, this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon. So the root word comes but. But means four carbon. But as there are two functional groups, one is alkene and one is alcohol, I have to see the preference list. Now the preference list, the alcohol comes prior to double bond. So I will number the carbon from here. So it comes one. So definitely my all will be on the first carbon atom. So root word but and the position of OH is one. So it will one all. But I have double bond. And double bond is between 2 and 3 and the rule says the minimum numbering should be applied. So the total name becomes it is but 2 in 1 all. That means I have an alcohol of 4 carbon atoms in which there is a double bond between 2 and 3 and the OH is on the first carbon atom. So here if you see the carbon bearing your functional group is sp3 in turn attached to sp2 that means this become allylic and if you see allylic the position of OH and the position of in are adjacent. This is the way you identify the allylic alcohol even by giving the IUPAC nomenclature of the compound. See the next compound now here. See the continuous chain is 1, 2, 3 or the continuous chain will be 1, 2, 3. So it is a derivative of propane. The position of OH is 1, so it becomes all. But once I consider this particular group, this becomes a side chain which is methyl and present on the second carbon atom. So I said 2 methyl propane 1 all. But see the nature of carbon bearing functional group 1, so it is primary. Then see the name of this compound. Now here I have to select the longest continuous chain. So this is 1, 2, 3 or I can select 1, 2, 3. Any way I can select it. So I have select from here 1, 2, 3. So derivative, see this has become 1, 2, 3, 4. If I select like this, there will be 3. But the longest chain is going to be continuous. So 1, 2, 3, 4 or it could be 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 carbon atoms. So derivative of butane, E is replaced by suffix all. The position of the OH group is 2. So I write 2 all and there is side chain methyl present on the third carbon atom. So the name becomes 3 methyl butane 2 all. So this is the way you give the IUPAC nomenclature of alcohols. The only thing is you should be very thorough with the rules of alkane similar rules are used here only e is replaced by all and wherever the position is different we give the position of oh okay now we go to the next compound see here it is one two three four and five the continuous chain is of one two three four five carbon atoms and on the third carbon atom there is methyl, first carbon atom there is OH, so 3 methyl pentan 1 all. Now here if you see open chain carbon, there is only one carbon which is containing that OH. So one carbon, it is methane, so derivative of methane. Methane will not have a position isomer, so I will not give position of OH. So it is methanol, the side chain is C6, H5 is phenyl. So it becomes phenylmethanol. Now if I come to the next compound, this is my first carbon atom. This is my second carbon atom. On the first carbon atom there is OH. But chain of two carbon, so derivative of ethane. So it becomes ethanol. On the second carbon atom there is phenyl. So I call it as 2-phenylethanol is the name of this particular alcohol. Now we come to polyhydric alcohols. If you see more than one OH group is there, so this is dihydric alcohol, this is trihydric alcohol. Now if I have to give IUPAC nomenclature, in polyhydric alcohols I consider the chain of carbon atom and I will never replace E by all. I will always write the name of alkane as it is. So two carbon alkane is ethane, so I write ethane as it is and then I give the position of OH is 
on the first carbon atom and second carbon atom. So I write 1 comma 2. And because there are two OH group, the prefix will come di. Here I am using prefix di and OH is all. So the name becomes ethane 1, 2, di all. Now here if you see, there are three carbon atoms. So it becomes propane. Now the position is 1, position is 2 and position is 3. So it will be propane 1, 2, 3, tri all. And that will be the name of the compound propane 1, 2, 3, tri all. So that is what you have to consider in case of polyhydric alcohols. They do uh, consider derivative of alkane, but we will never replace E by all. That is in case of monohydric alcohols. Now these are cyclic alcohols, derivative of cyclopentane and cyclohexane and so on. So if you see the name, cyclopentane, monohydric alcohols, E will replace by all. So cyclopentanol. Here if I see cyclopentanol, this is number one. Alcohol carbon is always a priority. Second will be ethyl. So it will be 2-ethyl cyclopentanol. Then I come to cyclohexanol. Hexane, 6 carbon, E is replaced by all. The position of OH will be always considered as first because there is a priority uh, group in the priority list of IUPAC. Then it becomes 2, 3 and 4. So on the fourth carbon atom, there is bromo and cyclohexanol. These are alicyclic alcohols we are talking about which are again monohydric alcohols. Now we come to what we say is nomenclature of phenols. Right? Now as I said phenols are basically compounds which contains OH group attached to the benzene nucleus directly. So this is called as phenol. And then we will be considering the derivative of phenol itself. Now see, this is what I say phenol. Phenol is also called as carbolic acid. But here if I see the position, it is 1, 2 and 3. So when I am talking about benzene 1,3-diol, then the name of this compound is resorcinol. So dihydric alcohols, we have catechol, it is 1, 2. We have resorcinol, it is 1, 3. And these names are generally asked for one mark or MCQ in board exam. Now here when I am talking about this particular compound, see the position of the OH is again a dihydric phenol is 1 and 4. So 1 and 4 is called as quinol. So you have to remember 1, 2 is catechol, 1, 3 is resorcinol and 1, 4 is quinol. Then I have a symmetric phenol which is of course if I give this as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it is 1, 3, 5 trihydric benzene, then I call this particular compound as fluoroglucinol, fluoroglucinol and when OH is 1, 2 and 3, benzene 1, 2, 3, triol, this particular compound is called as pyrogalol. Hello friends, up till now we have covered under this chapter what are alcohols and phenols and how they are classified as monohydric polyhydric and how phenols are classified as monohydric dihydric. How do we give a common name of these alcohols and how do we obtain the IUPAC name of these alcohols we have seen with certain examples. Similarly for phenols we have again seen what are monohydric dihydric phenols and trihydric phenols and how are they classified using IUPAC nomenclature.